What is up you guys, it's Allie and I'm here with another video today. I'm going to be talking about spoilery details in Avengers Endgame. So if you haven't seen it, you've been fairly warned by the title in this video and by what I just said. Um, so yeah guys, Avengers. As you know from my uh, just non-spoiler review, I really enjoyed the movie. I really thought it was really well done and just brought everything together. Um... There, are, there were a few problems I had with it. The main problem I had with it that I didn't really want to talk about and address in the actual non-spoiler review because it deals with spoilers was the beginning part where they're um, sent out on the missions to go find the different stones. I felt like some of the parts of that got a little long and a little boring at points. Um, but again, that's personal opinion. I'm sure other people thought those were very interesting. And, you know, some of them were more interesting than others, and I think that's kind of what the problem of it was. Um, also, I felt like some of the ad campaign made it seem like Captain Marvel and some of the other characters were going to have more bigger, like, bigger roles in the film. And they just didn't end up having bigger roles at all. They were pretty small. Especially Captain Marvel. I was actually kind of surprised with that. Um, but yeah. So, spoilers. I guess the right place to start would probably be the fact that Thor kills Thanos at the beginning, which I was not expecting when that happened. When he swung that axe, I was like, whoa, we're going there! And it just, it just happened. And so, um, the fact that they kind of reversed that with going back in time and having to uh, face him again and bringing... Thanos from back in time to the here and now uh, was very interesting. That way they could still fight him. I thought that was a good way to pull that off. Um, but it makes sense that him using the stone so much would like just take so much out of him that he couldn't fight them in the end. But he got what he wanted and so he didn't really want to fight them in the end. And so he was okay with... I mean, he was okay with, but, you know, Thor just axing him off was a little bit like well yeah i guess that's kind of a proper end for this version of thanos um so yeah that was interesting i wasn't expecting that so that got a lot of gasps out of my theater when i saw it um but of course that was the very beginning of the film and so we knew there was something coming that was gonna change it up i really really enjoyed the uh parts of the story that focused on them going into new york and um, Asgard and having to see older versions of themselves, especially Captain America having to fight Captain America. That was pretty funny. I really enjoyed that. Um, I also enjoyed how it kind of got all screwed up with, um, uh, like, Hulk coming down the stairs and just, like, knocking out Tony Stark and him losing the, the um, uh, stone. I thought that was really pretty funny. I enjoyed that. My theater really laughed at um, <laughs> Hulk not liking going down so many stairs. I thought that was pretty cute. Pretty cute. Um, and then they had to like come up with a plan B as far as getting the stones and so they had to go to um, the 70s and that's where we see our Stanley cameo which I thought was pretty good. Probably not one of the best Stanley cameos because it's so short and like He's, like, kind of almost disguised because he's wearing 70s garbs and he looks he's supposed to look younger. So, it's a little hard to make out. I think some people got a little confused. They're like, who's this person? Um, but, yeah, that was a Stanley cameo. And, you know, it was nice to see him again. Good to pay homage. I'm glad that they were able to film this before um, his passing. So, that was, that was nice. Uh, but the best part of this section is the interaction with the other characters. So Tony Stark gets to interact with his dad and then um, Captain America gets to see um, Peggy. And I was like, oh gosh, you're just killing my heart here. And you know, I love that they really did pay that off at the end of the film, but we'll talk about that when we get towards the um, end of this review. So that was, that was a nice um, touch, especially when they talk about um, being parents and like being fathers like fatherhood that was really really good to talk to see that interaction between um howard stark and tony stark i really enjoyed that but let's let's kind of divulge more into the bigger stuff that happened such as uh, the sacrifice of black widow that was 
I mean, we all knew it was going to happen. We all knew that some sacrifice was going to have to happen to get that soul stone because of what had happened with Gamora in the past film. Um, so, but the fact that it was uh, Black Widow was actually really surprising for me because I was like, they're not going to kill Black Widow. She's getting her own movie soon. It like never once occurred in my own mind while I was watching the film until she made the sacrifice that oh, maybe the movie will be a flashback or, like, you know, stuff that ha has happened in the past before she joins the Avengers and all that stuff. So I was a little bit like, oh, oh, that's what they're doing here. Okay, that makes sense now. I understand why she died now. And it, I felt like something like that could happen because they did pair her up with Hawkeye, who we had that amazing intro scene with Hawkeye and his family that was very crazy with his whole family disappearing and very sad. Um, so you kind of knew that the payoff for that was going to happen because he had to be reunited with his family. So, yeah, that was just how it was going to be. So, yeah, that was really interesting. Um, and definitely got a few tears out of me seeing Black Widow sacrifice herself like that. Um, you know, she's had a good run. <laughs> but, yeah, that was um, a good part. <clears throat> and then the main thing I want to talk about is kind of the battle that happens between Thanos and like when they get all the stones together and they think they've won and they think they've done it they're gonna snap their fingers and everybody's back and all that stuff and um I think it's Ant-Man that goes into the other room and he hears like the birds and he's like I think it's back to normal now you know like you can see the reaction on his face um and then that like missile just hits and that was probably one of the most, um, it was probably one of the best moments that any Avengers movie has ever put together. Because you're so hopeful. You're just, like, expecting those people that have been missing from the films to this point to just walk in to the Avengers complex. You're just expecting them to come in. Like, that's what you're feeling. That's what you're sensing is about to happen. And then that happens Thanos comes and he just takes this victory away from them he pulls the rug out from under the Avengers when they're least expecting it like they have their guard down completely um and so that was an interesting way in such a hopeful moment to have such a hopeless thing happen and um the whole like scene from down beneath the rubble that was really well done i really enjoyed that like some of the most cinematic shots i've ever seen the russo brothers do is in this movie i was really surprised they really stepped up their game which i appreciated um but yeah the battle was really good i really enjoyed thanos just sitting and waiting he's just like Y'all gotta come to me. You know, that's the absolute apex of power. It's like, I'm not coming to you. You're bringing this fight to me. Because I'm the most powerful thing here. And so, you know, that was interesting. And of course, um, and eventually everybody does come back. And that was a very, very powerful moment. Especially when you see, like, the silhouette of Black Panther and Shuri. And then, like, they're coming out of the shadows. And you're just like, yeah! And you start seeing, like, the time swirl thing from Doctor Strange. And you're just like, yes, yes, yes! It's just such a great, wonderful, heart-moving moment. I really, really loved it. Um, and then that moment between Peter and Tony. It just feels so good after how avengers infinity war finished um that was probably the most tear-jerking moment for me in avengers infinity war is when peter's dying and he's talking to tony um and not dying i guess like fading away but dying all the same and so um they're they're reunited and then tony hugs him and he's like oh this feels nice so, like that was really sweet um and of course we all we have to talk about the biggest part of the film which is the fact that Tony Stark sacrifices himself. And, you know, I don't think I've ever cried that much during a movie. Like, I just, I bawled. Like, it was just tears flowing down my face because of how emotional that scene was. Just to see how much Tony just wanted this to end and just wanted things to be put right 
and at first how he didn't want to be involved in this because he didn't want to lose what he had been given with his daughter and his wife. But yet he realized he had to do this. He owed it to the people that had been wiped away by Thanos and his snappy finger. So that was a really beautiful moment. And when, you know, Pepper's talking to him and she's like, you're fine now, you can rest. Like, Oh, I just died, okay? I just died. <laughs> it was tears everywhere. And so, I mean, I'm sure a lot of other people were crying too. So, I wasn't the only one. Um, So, yeah, that was a very, very emotional moment. And, you know, probably one of the most iconic moments that will be relived is him saying, Thanos saying, I am an inevitable. And Iron Man's response is, I am Iron Man. And snapping his fingers. Um, Beautiful moment. Yeah, so, um, just a few more things to talk about, because we've been going on for quite a bit now. Um, I have to talk about that Captain America scene, when he returns the stones, and then just doesn't come back. And then you see the old man has come, and you realize, he lived his life. He lived his life where he was supposed to live it. He lived it with Peggy, and that he got that dance! I just, I couldn't, I was like, he got it, he got it, he got the dance! I loved it! There's just so much payoff in this movie, and that's what makes it so great. It's just like everything that's been building, it just pays it all off, and that's it's beautiful. But yeah, guys, those are my spoilery thoughts on Avengers Endgame. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. It is a safe place to talk about spoilers, so please do. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!